Discovery Natural. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to choose the right products for your natural hair. There are five ways that has helped me in choosing the right products that I feel that will benefit you too. The first way is to know your hair. I find that when you know your hair, when you know what your hair porosity is, what your hair texture is, your hair type and your hair density, that helps a lot in determining what kind of products you can use on your hair and how those products will react with your hair. Knowing your hair porosity is a way that you can know how your products will penetrate into your hair. That will also help you in choosing the right products that will benefit your hair in terms of keeping it moisturized for a long term. Knowing your hair type, for some people, they don't like hair typing, but what I find is that hair typing actually helps a lot when you're trying to look at what other people are using and looking at how your hair, hair will react to it. That is very beneficial and that does help in choosing the right products. Also, knowing your hair texture is good because for some people with finer hair, they cannot handle heavy products. So if you have fine hair, sometimes heavy products, what it does is that it weighs down your hair. So you do want to try not to use too many heavy products or even move away from heavier products and use lighter products. Knowing your hair density is like knowing in terms of your thickness, your, you know, some people say the hair is curse and whatever, knowing that aspect of your hair will also help a lot. The next thing is also looking at product reviews. Watching product reviews can help to save a lot, a lot of money. Knowing how some a product will react from an honest source also helps. Knowing how a product will work together combined with other products will also help. So watch product reviews. There's so many channels out there. I actually have a playlist talking about product reviews that you can check out by checking that pop up right there, somewhere right there. So you can check that out. The third thing that I think is even very important is doing trial and error. Trial and error can be a bit costly, so you do want to be very careful about doing that. Trial and error also will help you to determine how a product does well on your hair and how a product does not do well. You can actually start off with buying products that are low cost versus going for the high-end, more expensive products so that to save you money. I would say that if you want to do trial and error, start off by getting samples from companies. There are so many companies out there that when you go to their website, you can request for samples or they do have samples available that you can test on your hair and see how your hair reacts before you go ahead and you buy the actual product um, that is available to you, you know, the actual product size. In addition, you can go on some groups, Facebook groups that also do kind of swap. So you can swipe out products that do not work for you, exchange them with your friends, exchange them with people. I do that a lot with my neighbors and my friends. I exchange products that do not work on my hair. But sometimes I also use products interchangeably. So one product might not work as a shampoo for me, but it might work as a shaver. <laughs> so I use that like that. The fourth thing is look at the ingredients. The first five ingredients of a product is very important. Look at the ingredients of a product. If a product does not work well for you, when next you go and look for other products, try and find out what in that product does not work for you. For example, some people coconut oil does not work for them. So when you're shopping and trying to look for the right product, you want to move away from looking at products with coconut oil. Instead, look for products with other kind of oils like um, that will work well for you. So that will also help you out. The final thing is, what do you already have? There might be that the products you already have in your stash are good enough for you. So and it might also be that the way that you're using the product might be different. So look into what you already have, see if you can modify it, see if maybe when you're using it in one season, like in the fall season, some products don't work for me. In the fall season, I can't use heavy products that have coconut oil in it, that they just don't work so well for me. Whereas in the summer, they work better for me. So try and look at that. 
Now, thank you so much for watching. Let us know what are some of your suggestions for how you choose your products. We're always learning here. We're always sharing that information. So make sure you share this video to all your friends and also make sure you check out DN Blogs Life where we share our life experiences and other things we do around town. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. The walking bread.